Hey guys, so today I'm here to do a January book favorites, I guess you could call it, um, where I'm pretty much just going to talk about, you know, some of my favorite books that I read throughout the month of January. Um, now it could just be one of one book, maybe one book was my favorite, or it could be five, maybe I had five favorite books of the month. Um, so I just decided to start doing these monthly. Um, and yeah. Okay, so I have two books this month that were my absolute favorites, and I can't wait to show you guys. Okay, the first book that I have is actually the one, the first book that I finished this month, um, and for the the whole year, and it is *The Fault in Our Stars* by John Green. <laughs> I finally read this book, and um, oh my god, it, it was unbelievably amazing. Like there was so much hype going to this story, and I honestly did not understand. Like, you know, I I honestly didn't think that this book would be as amazing as all the hype was. I mean, everybody loves this, this book. Everybody. And I'm just like, okay. So I finally picked it up and decided to read it. And now I understand why. Now I can join in with everyone else, all of you guys, in the hype of this book and the love. And I can share it because this book is absolutely 100% phenomenal. <laughs> like, there's no way that, there's no other way to describe it. I loved everything about this book uh, from the story itself to the characters to not even the main characters hazel and augustus because we all love them but even the side characters were so important you know you have isaac and um even monica was kind of important in the story you have their parents gus's parents hazel's parents you have peter van hooten by the way who i did not see expect him to be the way he was when you meet him i, I was i was surprised um, the whole Amsterdam trip itself was amazing. The, um, everything about this was so amazingly wonderful. And I did, um, tab some pages up in here. And I think if I reread this, well, when I reread it, because I will, I will be rereading re this, like, later on in the future. Um, but when I definitely think when I reread it, I'm going to be marking a lot more tabs. <laughs> but oh my god. I'm just in here. This is one of the books that I took very, like, I read it very slowly, and I'm really glad that I did, and I just absolutely loved this story. So, I just, oh, I can't say enough good things. And the trailer, by the way, oh my god, every time I watch the trailer, just, mm. I have a trailer reaction video, so if you guys want to check it out, I'll link it below. But, yeah, so this is my, my first favorite of the month, and, oh, ah! Okay. The next favorite of the month, and my last favorite, is A Vampire Academy by Rochelle Mead. I finally read this. Um, I ordered this online last year, and it was in the U section, so it was like two bucks in the U section, so I picked it up, and this is the, ori the, the I think, original cover, I think. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I finally read it. I wasn't like, I don't know, I, when I first picked this up, I wanted it because I've heard so much, such amazing things about it, but I didn't think it'd be as good as, as everyone was saying it was, and I was kind of wrong. <laughs> um, I, I, I flew through this book. It was so addicting. Um, you start it, and you just can't stop. I seriously could not sp stop reading this. It was just that addicting, and you get so invested in all these characters, from Rose to Alyssa to Dimitri to um, Mason, Everybody, you get so addicted to them, and you just want to know what's going on. You want to know what's going to happen to them, and it was so phenomenal. I think I rated it 4.5 out of 5 stars, and I absolutely love it. And I'm not so thrilled with the movie trailer, but um, I, I, I loved this book so much, and it's just such an awesome book. And let me tell you, Rose badass character. One of the best characters that I have read so far. So I, I, I'm very happy with that. And um, I love the bond that her and Lisa have. I think it's amazing. So um, yes, finally read Vampire Academy. Really, really loved it. I also finished Frostbite, the second book. Didn't like it as much as I like this one. I think I rated it a 4.4 or 4.3 out of 5 or something like that. Didn't enjoy it as much as this one, but um, I, I did enjoy it. And for those who say that the series gets better, I am very intrigued because a lot of, everyone says that the first two books are, aren't the best. And I love this one, so I'm excited to get to the rest of the series and see how that goes. But yeah, so those are my two favorites of the month. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next video. Bye!